It's 5.30 and it's cold. There's lots of dogs when heating your boat. So that the warmth of the bodies will create high temperatures. I've been preparing the past couple of days for a little bit of cold. There's a winter storm in it. I think it's something like 15 degrees today in Oriental, North Carolina. Um, I got up because I'm going to make some bread. It feels very cold in the boat. It's important to know and be able to keep track of the temperature in your boat. You can see the frosty windows. Coffee. Coffee's coming up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some bread this morning to warm the whole joint up a little bit. I woke up with uh, condensation. There's a condensation on the walls of the boat. And um, it's gonna be a good day. I put some insulation up around the door. Some insulation back here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, that goes against the uh, the hull of the boat. There's insulation behind that cushion over there. And that's just to keep it from getting too cold in here. Ice. 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 Ice everywhere. If the water outside of your boat is freezing, that likely means that the water inside of your boat can freeze. So keep an eye on your surroundings. If the salt water is freezing outside, it means it's really cold and it's been cold for an extended period of time. If it's freezing, you may want to consider getting some sort of extra heating inside of your boat because it means that the cold is gonna get you. Not sure you guys can see that, but that's ice. ice. The power just went out. The power just went out. Luckily I'm baking bread. Look at these beauties. They're gonna be delicious. Um, but there's a a bit of an issue because I heat my boat with an electric heater at the moment. This puppy. And no light. I'm also watching a boat that uh, is using electric heaters and I'm almost positive they don't have power either. So I'm gonna have to go outside. I'm gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do. I have a generator on my boat. I might have to use that. And I think the other boat I'm watching has a generator as well, so. Another way to heat your boat is um, heaters. You can choose between two different style of heaters, combustion or electrical. Pros of electrical heaters is that um, you don't need fuel to heat the boat. You just need to be connected to electricity. Pros of a combustion heater is that if you have the fuel, it will heat the boat. Electricity is sometimes um, hard to come by in storm or weather events like I experienced this time on uh, Pepita in North Carolina. We had a power outage in the morning, which um, caused my, my heater to turn off. Luckily, my backup was my oven and I turned my oven on and let her rip. Um, another option is a generator. If you have a generator on board, you can generate electricity, which will turn the electric heater back on. The downsides to combustion heating is that you need to have the fuel. Um, if you have a wood stove, for example, you need space to carry wood to heat your boat. If you have a diesel heater, which is a nice, a nice option because you already have large tanks to carry diesel, um, you can use that. There's propane heaters, there's coal burning heaters, there's wood burning heaters, there's all sorts of different heaters out there. You just have to decide if you have the storage space and capacity to carry that amount of fuel to burn. The longer amount of time the air temperature is below freezing, the higher the likelihood is that 
your boat will freeze. If you have an expected temperature lower than 32 degrees for more than 24 hours, um, it would likely turn into 36 hours at least. That's when you should start considering getting some sort of high powered heating element in your vessel. Moral of the story is keep your boat above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. Keep the water in your boat above that temperature and you shouldn't have any problems. Keeping aware of your surroundings and observing the situation will help you make decisions on how much fuel, power, and backups you'll need. Kevin and I thank you very much for watching. Um, we will see you again. Please follow and subscribe and all the good things to get more tips, tricks and tips from the from the trade.